Oh, yo guys, what's going on? It's Sword Rage, and welcome back to some more Iron Sight. I don't know what it is about this game, but this is by far one of the most highly requested games, and I have a lot of fun playing it. I don't know why I don't do it more often. Now, currently, as of right now, though, it's uh, just a little bit before 10 o'clock in the morning, and this is the earliest I've been <laughs> up in a very long time. And I guess that it's kind of a good thing because uh, this is the week that I'm going to be returning to work, but I'll talk more about that later on. So, primarily for this video, I wanted to talk about uh, yesterday's Fortnite video, which went over kind of well and kind of as expected. It was uh, honestly pretty surprising because it was an even mix and is my game frozen hello i've been looking at this 10 seconds thing for about 10 seconds uh Okay, cool. I don't think that's ever happened to me before where my game just crashes immediately on launch and I think I'm getting back into the same game anyway, so Oh, uh, hello most random no scope collateral ever Hello? Am I not understanding how to use a knife? Uh, okay, alright. Looks like I'm not joining XJMX anytime soon. What the? Alright, uh, haven't seen that before. I'm the craziest Ironside player ever. Always gotta warm up against bots first. Always. Every time. No! I got A-punched off the collat. Frick. Dang it. Oh, the Noskender. So like I was saying right at the start of the video though, I really don't know why I don't play this game more often. Oh no, shit, ran out of bullets. No! So insane in this video game. I just, oh, 30 kills, one dead. Wow. I died one time, went on a 30 kill streak. Hello, where's my nuke? So also, like I was saying before my game crashed originally, uh, yesterday's Fortnite video went over kind of well and also kind of the exact same way that I expected. At least from what I've seen from the comments, I saw a lot of things like, I don't really mind you playing this game. I'm here for you, which is awesome. Thank you very much. And also in relation to those comments, I was getting more comments saying some stuff like, I really don't mind you uploading this game. Just, you know, don't do it too much or do it like once a week or just uh, basically every so often. And that's kind of what I was planning to do, like, uh, maybe once a week or, like, once every two weeks, something like that, because even so, quite honestly, I get more requests for Iron Sight more than Fortnite, which is pretty awesome, because I do enjoy playing this game. It is really fun. <laughs> Dude, I can't see anything. What the hell? I think this is the one map in Iron Sight I don't like, this damn dust storm. And again, though, on the flip side of the Fortnite video, I did get quite a few comments saying, Mike, please don't play this. And I think this also goes uh, without saying that I try to please you guys as much as I possibly can, although I know that, obviously, I'm not always going to be able to please everybody. Although, once again, though, I did get quite a few more comments saying that they didn't really mind the Fortnite and they would like to see it more often, so I'm gonna try and find, like, that uh, medium equilibrium of doing it every so often, but not, obviously, over-spamming it. Plus, I don't think I could possibly do that because Fortnite tilts me off the face of the earth. But then again, so does Call of Duty in pretty much every video game I play. I give good suck for buck. Oh my god. I'll give you the good one dollar sucky sucky. And also one other comment that I've been getting quite a lot on yesterday's Fortnite video was uh, me requesting to play more Roblox Phantom Forces. See, I have no problem playing Roblox. Uh, well, Roblox World War II for that matter. But Phantom Forces, I I I've been retired from that game. I just, I, I had a very traumatizing experience and I don't want to play it anymore. Actually, as a matter of fact, the last uh, Phantom Forces video that I did, I, I, I got destroyed. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then... And, um, here you go. I just get so frustrated because I'm sitting out here like this is a game made for 12 year olds and anyone in it. I just got five on head by Frisky. I just got hit in a fucking five on head. Oh my. I can't fucking believe it. Uh, I'm act. Yeah, fucking Frisky, Jamie, Great Britain, that one motherfucker that's always baiting everybody in my comment section, he hit a five on head on me. I just, I can't play the game anymore. I just, I can't. Jamie, of all people, hit a fucking five on head. On me. I just, I, I can't. I'm starting to get triggered thinking about it again. I just, hmm. See, at the time, though, I think I did like a small handful of Phantom Forces videos, and they did pretty well, but after that, I just, I can't play it. Which also, quick little side note, I wanted to give a shout out to Noah, or Logic, because he got me three months of Xbox Live last night, and I shit you not, literally 
literally the first game of COD 4 that I get into. It's a sniper lobby on ground war, because that's all it is anymore. Domination on ambush, and I get tripled by an R700. I just, I wanted to throw my Xbox out the window. So now with both of those things being said, that does kind of tie into uh, one of the other main topics that I wanted to talk about with you guys, and that's just doing different videos in general. Talks about Fortnite, um, obviously playing Iron Sight, going back to 360 for a couple videos here and there. Holy shit, I'm insane. Feed. I love this game. I love the DSR. It's it's so nice. Black Ops 4, take notes. Please. Treyarch, please, for the love of all that is holy, look at this game. So on that same note, though, uh, I was tweeting a lot about Battalion 1944 yesterday. I think I've uploaded two or three videos on that game as well, and uh, for the most part, they actually did pretty well. So again, though, for those of you guys that follow me on Twitter and saw my tweets about everything, my first original tweet just talking about how, uh, oh, this game had so much potential to it, turns out I was extremely ignorant to that because I had no idea. Wait a minute, what? Don't mind me, I'm just sitting here capturing the hard point. Don't mind me, boys. Never mind. Got sniped by I give good suck for Buck. So again, though, as far as Battalion 1944 goes, the game is still in early access because I thought that the original February release was the full game's release, but it's not. Apparently, there was a lot of funding issues, and that's why they had to release the game early, but now they actually have the funding to keep the game going and keep it updated. And so what's going on with Battalion is over the course of the next month or so, they're working on their next major update, and that's supposed to be released in July. And as far as I know, that's supposed to completely revamp the entire game, especially the wartide system or the uh, competitive aspect of Battalion. The major update is supposed to come out again in July, and then from that point up until the beginning of February is when the full game is supposed to be released. It's supposed to be released in early 2019, and they're going to have a huge marketing campaign for it, and it's just, oh, it's going to be so nice. I know I don't make a lot of videos on Battalion, and I know that it's kind of hard to because the population on the game is so low right now, but see, I'm not lying to you guys when I say that I really support the fuck out of that game, and I'm going to play it a lot. I feel like I can get into Battalion the exact same way that I felt like I was borderline addicted to CSGO when I first started playing that game, and I want to take that game as seriously as I did with CSGO at one point in time. Granted, I was never fantastic at CSGO, and still to the day, I'm not, but I do enjoy playing the game. And just overall, though, I know I'm talking a lot about it, and that's because I support it. I want this game to be really, really good. It's a classic World War II first-person shooter. By far my favorite genre ever. And I really do feel like that if Bulkhead does a fantastic job with it, the game is going to be wildly successful. And now I'm in a game with some guy in big old booty hole. Oh my god. <laughs> we got that one dollar sucky sucky guy in big old booty Booty hole. Oh no! That shot was. Oh man, that was filthy. And then I get slapped by big old booty hole. Oh no, sit down boys. I love the sniping in this game, it's, just, it's so crisp. Maybe it's just because I'm using the DSR. Love the DSR. Oh my god, I hit the shit ass. Can someone kill him, please? Big old booty hole head ass, down to like one HP. Guys, please, we need one kill. Yes, there we go. All right, and even in a game like Ironsight, I genuinely care about win-loss. I don't understand why. I actually really like the way that they did the highlight right there, like doing a little slow motion effect after every kill. I don't know about you guys, but I think that requires some uh, tactical stretches. So anyways, though, guys, for right now, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this Ironsight video. I hope you all have enjoyed. It's still relatively early in the morning. Actually, it's 10.30 in the morning. So for once, I'm finally gonna have a video going up on time at three o'clock because I actually got out of bed at a decent time. So more than likely though, by the time this video goes up, I'll be live streaming on Twitch. Uh, I, I might even be streaming this game. I don't know. I know I probably say this every single time I make an Ironside video, but this game really is so much fun and I really do need to play it more often, especially with how much you guys are requesting this game. So again though, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this Ironside video. It's been Soul Rage. I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.